Shalom. Shalom.
allow wickedness to run rampant, man. All right? So yeah. Yeah. Going back to that field, this is the book of, I think it's the soul, yeah, it's not itself. By measure, have he measured the times, and by number, have he numbered the times, he doth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. All right, man. So those times hasn't been, hasn't been stirred until they've been fulfilled, man. All right? So that's why the Lord has allowed things to run its course, man. All right? And also as well for prophecy's sake, man. Okay? For prophecy's sake, in, 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 in the form of our Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, man. All right? One of the major prophecies in which the Lord is using Esau to, to bring them out, man. All right? And no matter what Esau does, man, the Lord has got them at every corner, man. Okay? Why? Because the, the Lord's word is always going to stand short, man. All right? No matter how much this man try to uh, try to offset the prophecy in any way possible, the Lord still has his word uh, to, to go out throughout the planet Earth, man. All right? So that's why this man, you know, he can't sleep at night, man. All right? He, he can't gain any sort of rest. And it tells you in the book of Job as well that this man is uh, 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 expressing his hunger for man. All right? And, 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 and his terror is at every side, man. Okay? Why is that, man? Because he see this, man. All right? He sees a man of the Lord actually standing out for, for the truth, man. Oh. All right? This, this What he sees right now, this, this, uh, 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 this is what gives him nightmares, man. Men of the Lord that you see today, man. Teaching the word, man. Okay? This Proverbs 4, verse 16. For they sleep not except they done mischief. Yeah, they, they sleep not unless they done mischief, man. All right? So they can't sleep at night unless they do something wicked, man. And it's woven in this DNA. All right? That's what tells you, man, that you, can't, you cannot uh, uh, turn it to my righteousness, man. It's impossible, man. All right? Why? Because the Lord designed him that way, man. All right? And Esau knows that, man. All right? He, he knows it uh, deep down, man. All right? No matter how much you try to try to sell to you that uh, he's, he's for the good, he's, he's uh, doing things for the betterment of uh, mankind, and that's what he tries to throw out every single time, man. All right? But when he says he does things for mankind, he's talking about himself, man. All right? That's what, he, that's what he's talking about when he say mankind. He's talking about mankind. He's talking about himself because he's still looking at our people as weak as a man, man. You know, all that. Yeah, man. The, 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 the signing of uh, 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 the, uh, the declaration. All right. All, all that, man. That, that's for, for them. All right. For, for their individual, man. That's the reason why I was signing the right. This is uh, Sarah or Ecclesiastical, chapter 14 and verse 7. And if he do of good, he do it unwillingly. Right. So if he do it good, he do it unwillingly, man. All right. Like, uh, hey, what I was going to, man. All right. He said, this man, you know, he can't sleep at night unless he done, uh, done some mischief, man. All right. So whatever he does, you know, it's not at the willingness of, of what he wants to do. All right. Really, he wants everything to put be put on his foot, man. All right. He wants everything under his control. Okay. And he wants these people to be, be called a certain way. All right. And he'll do whatever by means possible he'll be able to do it, man. God. And if he do it good, he do it unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. Right. So at the last, all right, he will declare his wickedness, man. All right. So after all, he did all of that. All right. All that's for a purpose, man. Okay. Because at the end of that, then he'll show you what his true intentions are, man. Okay. And, and, and you're seeing that right now, man. All right. You know, this whole uh, 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 thing that's going around, all right, with this uh, uh, plant, you know, we call it plant dip. All right. All that's for, for a reason, man. Okay, and at the end of it, you're going to see the reason why you know, this man has uh, has been uh, perpetuating promoting that thing, man. All right. Yeah, this is second Hesus 11 and 44. The higher also have looked upon the proud time, and behold, they are ended. That's right, man, and, and they are ended, man. And this is where it starts, man. All right, this is the, the beginning of the end of this man's system, man. Okay. And, 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 and really, it, it started all the way back to the time of Yahweh Shah when we were in All right, that that's when the time started ticking, man. That 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 was when the last day started, man. Okay, and, and now you're seeing uh, the end of the end, man. All right, you're seeing the, the last seconds of this man's kingdom, man. Okay, uh, uh, hey, I always compare it to uh, to you know uh, a basketball, man. Football, you know, you got four quarters, man. All right, and at the four quarter, you we're at the very last seconds of that four quarter, man. All right, time is ticking. This man's run out of time, man. All right, and he's losing, man. He's losing bad, man. All right, how do we know that? Because you still see men of the Lord today that's being uh, brought up in the spirit, all right, and teaching his word, man. And, and, and men are right, coming back into the fold, all right, who are part of the elect, man. All right, so like I said, man, this man, when he sees that, 
You know, he, he knows that his, his time is up, man. Okay? He knows his kingdom has ended, all right? Because men of the Lord has, has went back to their power, all right? And it's been a certain time the way he's kept us away from our power, man. And now we're coming back to our power, all right? And, and, and this man, since he knows it, that's why now he's going to try to the nail to, uh, to try to take away from our power again, man. All right? By way of what? Revelation 13, 16. All right? It's a Christian out there. It says, and his abominations are fulfilled. Right. And his abominations are fulfilled, man. Okay? And, and, it's, and this time is being fulfilled, man. All right? All manner of abominations, man. That's why you see uh, everything under the sun uh, passing by, man. No matter where you look, man. You could be out on oh, the street somewhere oh, in the store, uh, on on uh, television, you know, the media. Uh, yeah, it's everywhere, man. All right? You can't escape it, man. That's why that's why I call all y'all about you know, try to go up brought us into this thing, man. So now we have a protection. Yeah, man. We'd rather die for 
Oh. Eat that touch of pitch. Shall be the fire yep, will. Yep, go ahead. Hey, hey, that's why we cuss out you niggas on this side. Yeah, you sure. come up and you fat, you, you want your niggas coming up there. This no black, black guy, guy no. Yeah, black, black, black guy, no. Black guy, no. You gonna get cussed out, man. Because <laughs> you a corporate, you know, you a cult of spirit. Go ahead. And he that have fellowship with the proud man shall be like I tell you. That's the sword of Isaiah 13. That's God said gonna thrust you through it. It's equivalent to like somebody kicking in the door and whoever in the house gonna get laid down, man. That's how your house shot visit in uh, America, man. That's right. You're not gonna be able to talk your way out of this. Right. You can't go back to reason with us. <laughs> in that day. Oh, they got a bad cousin. We'll scrap in them niggas like that. Oh, they got a bad cousin. man.
So you can see it and once again, man. All right, and here it is. We're giving a warning, man, like the odds going to, man. All right, and again, that deals with two-inch rain, man. When you, when you uh, tell somebody that you're going to die, it's just all the, all the way you put it. You can't, you can't water that message down. <laughs> you know, it's just what it is, bro. Either way, yeah. that's, 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 that's real quick, right? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the reason you see the prophets. Same time in the ancient times. Prophets were what? Bringing forth the words of the Most High. All right, so I got a quick precept. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17, just tagging on what the brother just brought out. He says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. He says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And what, what a watchman do? He warned you from the damn danger that's coming, man. You see what I'm saying? And, and guess what? He's uh, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. These dogs that can bark, man. You see what I'm saying? You put a dog in, in, a, in a yard, right? To be aware, a natural alarm. Yeah. Right? So we coming back in, in our life being that natural alarm, man. Yeah. You feel that? We that natural alarm, man. That, that's sitting in the yard. The yard being America. And, and we letting the people, right? The Israelites let you know that, guess what? Danger is coming, man. I'm going to finish this real quick. Ezekiel uh, 3 and 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. To those on this sign. And like the brother just said, not to all of Israel. To those that what took, took heed to the warning when your house shot walked the earth two thousand some years ago. Now that it came back and they what been woken up to who they are. Now they hearkening again to that warning. These are the only ones they can take the arms. That counts about Christianity. Of course, you got to love everybody. Yes, that's the two messages of warning. God's warning you from sleep from the rap. That he has to bear, man. And this is going to be in plenty of ways. The Lord has created a creative way to distribute America. The famine, okay? The famine is going to be a beautiful piece of work. Because that's what niggas is home with. <laughs> that's the great equalizer. You can have a, 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 a Lambo, you know what I mean? But when you're a crib, that's going to be the great equalizer. The Lord got a home with man. Light. Yeah, that's it. Send out light, meaning what? The light that we have 
uh, receive, which is what? Prophecy. Well, hold up. The equivalent there of that is what? When, like you see, an Amalek or a warning. 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 So you see, right? Yeah, I was not gonna make it. But see, a light flashing it, it dramatizes a warning. You know, you see a light flashing. So that's what it means. Send out light. You know, Woo! this series is in it's a warning. Yeah. This is equivalent to hearing that. Ah, 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 ah. That's why it's not easy on the ears for the average person. If you're an American, you don't want to hear this. You don't want to hear that your little girl can get hit and die. <laughs> That's the spirit of the Lord, right? You don't want to hear that the future becomes scary. Your day to day coming and going as usual can be a hindrance. That's why the scripture said, they said, tell us sweet things. Mm. But no, over here, with the prophet, you know, you're going to drum attack. You know what I mean? Yeah. Activate the drum attack. Now, I'm trying to tell you, I got to stop. Yeah, it's all good. The truth. I guess I'm here. They activate the more than just that. <laughs> it says, uh, to be taught, be it money. Yes, to be taught, be it money. Right, so that's what we doing, man. We're teaching. Right, teaching you what? The, the kingdom is on its way, man. And teaching you the way to get right. See what I'm saying? Not just not just saying destruction is coming. We be having the balance of the most high. We're not just saying destruction is coming. We're giving you a way to be saved out of destruction. Yep, repent. That's it. Talk back to the most high. Through your house, shot Isaiah 55 and 6, man. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it. Meaning what? War with the most high, man. And that's adding iniquity upon iniquity, man. War against the most high in your past life, meaning you broke the law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. Because they rebel, it literally means back to war. Shit. To rebel, that means you wage war against the war. The house shot, man. Imagine that.
blessings and curses. Blessings and curses, man. It's a blessing for you to understand this and come into this fold. To be able to come up to the altar, man, and hold your tongue, man. But it's a what? What you said? Blessings and what? Blessings and curses. Blessings and curses. And curses what? It's basically going to be no milkers, man. It's basically going to be no milkers at the end. All right? If you can't get this, man. Having a lack of understanding and all of like the brother said, the the first chapter is all predestinated. Yeah, it ain't nothing you can do. You, 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 like the brother always go into a great analogy. You can't run around the block and do a push up and sit up to get understanding. We can't even teach you understanding. We can't teach you. You got to have it. That, that got to be uh, the substance. Well, that go back to the uh, like you go to the word education, go back to the etymology. Uh, that word go back to edukare, which means you grown out of it. I mean, it was already in it. You know, that's why anybody can entertain that spirit. Uh, you know, you got an abstract of the Lord draw me in. Oh, yeah, I was just read this. Y'all said that was draw me in. So the brothers at the end of the day, the very brothers, the Lord draws us. The fight is the protocol is the outcome. But those who are out of order, you're going to be beheaded. But y'all said that to bring all of them to me. Yeah, slay them for me. It says, therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. That's right. And guess what? That, 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 that you and your seed may live. Now, that clip. Oh, that seed is you. That you have. Exactly. Reincarnation, man. That's why when you go on over there, hold there for a seed. We read all that for a second. It's it piece about exactly what the brother talking about right now. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's great. Right. 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 Yeah, that you end your series by right. this. I mean, you in the time, in the latter days, the Lord visited the earth. You know, when you start this place, you had this rhythm. Lord, he, he, you know, he uh, pretty much uh, uh, submitted your Satan back then. He was in order then that. Now, you are seated to the benefit of you. You're going to preserve your seed. Your seed is blessed. Hey, because your child can die, man. Hey, I'm going to get the seed by death. The children so no, so no more of these uh, grace. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. God, this is Luke 18 and 2. What mean ye this, that ye use the cover concerning the man of Israel said? The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Right. So to simplify that, meaning the father going off, but the children have to suffer. What? Well, it says, "As I live, said the Lord, power." This is the Lord promising it. What? Ye shall not have this occasion anymore to use the proverb of Israel. Behold, all souls are mine, as the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine. Go ahead. The soul that sinner. It shall die. Right. So that means when the Lord talking about your seed, that's you. Now you have seed, but when the Lord promised that you and your seed are going to dwell in faith, that's dealing with you. Because when you go into the river, you go to the seed, the seed is the elect. Right? And then you have a flip side of the seed, which is the other thing. Uh, what you were talking about in Hosea the fourth chapter, that's dealing with you niggas that's out of order, man. <laughs> you should come back into the order of your Alabama Shakao. <laughs> you are a, you're, you're a representation of yourself in the old. You are the same nigga complaining in the old. Truth. Oh, well, that's what I said. You have the measures of your father. Then you have to come up. Because you, yeah. you can't live for a thousand years straight. So you have to come back uh, and finish off what you started. Hmm. My people are destroyed for like another. Not proving that man that's heavy, man. This information that it dictates life to death. Very well be in your life. Yeah, oh boy, and he had this look on his face. Like he got joy all over the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got
It says, because thou hast rejected knowledge, see that? Mm. I will also reject thee, that thou may, may be lucky, that thou shalt be no priest to me. And this is the honor. This is the honor of your Lord. Right. Right. Lord, I'm going to reject you. You can't be a priest. You quickly look at it like this is so bad. <laughs> but this is the honor. Lord, so you're not going to be with these men, huh? the priest. Right. With the priest going to the king, man. That's in uh, Revelation, the first chapter. The Lord is going to go up. Imagine that, man. We're gonna be the ones with the crown, man. That's in uh book of the one we just never thought of or where the crown. It says, See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. Well, I will also forget thy children. Thy children. So why the Lord don't mess with your children with you? You know, you are your children, man. See, when the when the voices of the prophets condemned Israel back then, you can't for it now. Jake that was hanging from the trees, the Esau. I'm gonna say this real quick. You know, they talk about scary movies, Jake. <laughs> or Freddy Krueger. I'm gonna say this. Jake 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 Oh, so you witness unto yourself. <laughs> you proving that 
Right, right. That ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. See that Lord, that's all those guys in the past life. Then ye are being the measure of your father. Yep, continue in the legacy. Because you came against Moses and Aaron and the uh, wilderness. You came up against all the prophets, man. And you certainly came up against the house of God. That's why you do the day. They hate you. Yeah. But all the said, you can be fooled with it, didn't The result of this, you can't stand it. Because it was hands like you hated the prophets. Yeah, that's why you have to understand that. You are a witness to that. You are the whole thing, too. Uh, Mega Acts chapter 7, verse 52. Which of the prophets have not your father persecuted? See that? Hmm. That's the offense right there. Matter of fact, go back to this right here. Yeah, the Lord says, Touch not my anointing, and do my prophets no harm. And you know, you got these people like, uh, uh, they might sign petitions against certain brothers in certain cities. They might call the cops. They see brothers out in the city. They got to pay for that, man. Those be the jewels of your house, man. Go ahead. Saint Matthew twenty-three. I saw that thirty again. It says, "And say, if we have been in the days of our fathers, mm -hmm. we would have not been partakers with them in mm. the blood of the prophets." <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Mm. Wherefore, you be witnesses unto yourself. You got to remember to keep in the context. The house was telling them that in their face. <laughs> Let's show that your house was telling them. He was cussing them out. Matter of fact, you read Matthew twenty-three chapter in its entirety. Dedicated to your house, I cut them out Israel. Woo. Well, it says, Wherefore, ye be witnesses unto yourselves mm -hmm. that ye are the children of them which Ooh. killed the prophets. You know, I was saying, this is not your people, people making a cut, you know. He was touching his fingers, you know, telling them, <laughs> right? Go ahead. It says, Fear ye up in the measure of your father. Go ahead. Ye serpents, ye generations of vipers. I know the cuss words back there. It was the rocket to away called the serpent. But that was John. John said that. That's the point for the serpent. So, so many of them were generation of vipers. Hey, the prophet, they had stood the fury of the Halibut and the Halibut. They pretty much hated them people, bro. It's, what? It says, these serpents, these generation of vipers, mm -hmm. how can you escape the damnation of hell? Yeah, and the hell is not talking about the Christianity. That's talking about the condition. Matter of fact, that talks about, you know what that's really going into? The uh, dramatics of, of the curses that came in the form of slavery. When the Lord told them they can't escape that, that meant when they came back, they were going to be hunted down, chased out of Rome, and rounded up in them ships, and brought to America, and hung and went and raped and burnt, and castrated. That's why the Lord said you can't escape, you can't escape that. That's going to happen. See, that was the next scene in the movie. You got to remember. What else came after that? The house of was prophesying that, yeah, you ain't going to escape yet. Why you talking that shit? You ain't going to escape. But I got my Because when the curtain closed on the child of Israel, the scene opened up. It came in full effect. He was born in the world. That's when the TV came back. That's when the channel opened back up. You can't see in America. <laughs>
the suddenness of your house shot. You can you don't know who up on you. You don't know who you around. That's volatile, man. So the Lord sets forth the same scribes, the men that you read from right around you. Man. Go ahead. Up. It says, and some of them he shall yeah. kill yeah. and crucify. Hmm. Yeah, and that happened. That happened to Stephen. And what happened? Why they put Stephen? Because people cussing them out, man. Then yeah, Stephen really made him mad. He looked up and said, I see your house shot. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Man, your house shot gonna open up on you, people, man. And to see what you're doing to us is what you did to your house shot. What it's like doing to your house shot. That's why your house shot told Peter, look, if you love me, man, just feed my sheep, man. I don't want to shoot. Go ahead. Huh? It says, and some of them he shall scourge in your synagogue. Right. Go ahead. And that scourging, they actually did that. And physically, and spiritually, scourging too is uh persecution, railing, and revival, you know. You know, when they railed on the law, on the law when he was on the cross. So people that talk and sit against the prophets and stuff like that, well, that's an offense. Go ahead, huh? And persecute them yeah. from city to city. Oh, from where? City mm. to city. You think that's a coincidence? It's a camp, the uh, uh, camp of yeah. great meals for the house of David is in every city, man. You can't make this up. The Lord said, we're going to be persecuted from city to city. Now you got to remember. Right, your house was shot. And what's the testimony? Prophecy. Everything he was saying had something to do with prophecy. Now, even though it applies to those times, like when you're going to um, Luke 19, right? But it still had an element of prophecy to it. Meaning you can't box the words that are going on. Your house was say something then, and I just can't even don't matter now. Let's read it again. God, it says, like, it says, what up, y'all? That's the money.
human that y'all started. Hey, you can't stand that. That was that was that was some ET shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like ET. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Hey, but see, you have a shot. That's why God I need to speak about your shit. God know your worst fear. You don't even know what your worst fear. Is. But you get some shit in the garage. Right. Right. <laughs> And you want somebody to look like you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we're here, man. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> you say the same thing you say. You say. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? Come on. You know, you know what I'm saying? You're right. You're right. Yeah. We're here to introduce you to this power that's greater than the field, man. Right. Straight up, man. Right. Hey, man, the boy out there, man. Right. Right. Thank you. 
waters of this. It's a mind. Oh, God, it again. They saw you. They saw you that blood. That's why you got to ask yourself, wait, how is that going out there walking on water that time? Ain't nobody really doesn't think, you know. Oh, man. Hey, and we didn't know that there was the portal to the heaven because the video. You remember the one footage where the so called UFO went into the water? He and went into the water. Those portals that go, hey, you go deep down into the sea, don't even know what the hell down there. It's, it's all types of animals that you know that about. Hey, I, I, that's how the, the, the uh, white boy, the crocodile hunt, when it got. Well, no, 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 that went down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, got that. I, 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 I think I was sitting down about this. Um, she, she was like on that same level. Mm. That nigga like mm. one of those. I forget what they call. Yeah, but it's a word. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. She was one of them in a damn octopus. Came and wrapped up. Oh, what? I didn't see that. Yeah, it wrapped yes, her up. And, and look at what she did. She told the story. She lived. It wrapped her up and it shot her. She said it was like a goddamn, you know, them trains. You know, it grabbed her and it shot her down to the, it was taking her to the bottom of the hole. And she was talking about how it falls. She was seeing that pain. You would think they just sucked the fuck. But they actually closed in the octopus. Yeah. And they put the put the down. Wow. You know that? Yeah. But they got a when she said they brought it down to a, a colony of more like more octopus way more. Wait, wow. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. just yeah. run them to a damn whole hood of octopus. Yeah. And let her go. And they all just looking at her and shit. <laughs> let her go as she fucked her way out from on the street. Hey, it's new. Oh. Like, you know? Ostrich too, got oh, heavy. Ostrich heavy. I, I'm saying I just beat a motherfucker. Yeah, all the work to the kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos and shit. All the work to the real heavy. Right. Now another thing, real quick, for the sense, uh, they they got like a what they call them, a reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real community. Yeah. Now it was it was I was watching somewhere a fish was getting chased, <laughs> and he got laid into the reach, and the other fish didn't even follow up in there. He's like, he knew not to follow up in there. It was like, wow. Yeah, the unwritten rules, like the horns, the horns, the horns of mercy. Mm. Reach before the show. Oh yeah, yeah, you, you can't even touch them. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, 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 that's a whole other world. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. He said he said first time he tried to run to the own um, thing, but that again make him move. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But like it's just a horn, like mm-hmm. it's just a whole unwritten yeah. rules. Yeah. Rule. The laws, the, the laws. Yeah, the laws of the law go all as well. Yeah, everybody's in order. Like the little Pokemon we see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because like, Pokemon, that shit exists. It's true. And we're going to throw this out. It's not for the faint order, man. For those who understand the power we're dealing with. Like, what? I'm going to jump down verse 32. There are yet hid greater things than these things. The Lord said he has things hidden greater than what these things do. Like, as great as the sun, the moon, the heavenly bodies, the constellations. And how they align themselves and so forth, the size of one, you know, super moons, you know, things that we marvel at. Uh, mountains, hills, rivers, ravines, lakes, these great works. Great work. Alleys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You hear a stream, a stream, just here in the water. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to say this too, it's like the body. You know, because the, it's not like nobody coming to be up water in the earth. It rains, but that don't mean you up the ocean. Where it go? Where the water go? If the earth flat. But that's the first thing. It's good up. Well, you know what? It goes, that's like the box. Because you got blood and it just runs, circulates, you come back and forth. Okay, Solomon says. So that's real heavy work of the Lord. But with all that yeah. said, the Lord says, hidden work. Read that again. There are yet in greater things than these be. What? But we have seen but a few of his works. Come on, man. The Lord spoke. We have seen a few of his works. And that goes all the way down to something that's next to the X. It's something you just can't see. It is actually out there. Come on, man. And they all on their own frequency. You leave a wet tower somewhere, you're going to see a colony of them. But they lifetime span is not like yours. It was 24 hours with you, but that was a whole mm-hmm. year. It took me mm-hmm. some years for them, man. Mm-hmm. A whole government came from that. <laughs> Oh, and if you know, yeah. 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 
So that that Lord said, those that are filled with blessings, let me pray. Uh, Rock 42 and 21. He has garnished the excellent work of his wisdom, and he is from everlasting to everlasting. Right, that's another thing that's over your head. Hmm. I can comprehend the fact that you have an entity, a spirit that's from everlasting to everlasting. There's no record of him being created. You know? But, uh, it says, unto him may nothing be added, neither can he be diminished. Uh, well, and he has no need of any counsel. Right, the Lord don't have no need of any counsel. The Lord don't need. That's a great thing, right? Right. That book has been the word of God. Come on, man. Ha, 
and the moon and the star, the chariots is a part of that process. The heavenly body. Okay? Which, by the way, will prove that is over the last two or three years, maybe, uh, the increase of so called UFO sites and man, it's gone through the roof. So much so, what he, in the form of the Pentagon, had to just address it. They just yeah, shed light on some information that was classified. They just disclosed. Mm-hmm. That's how you know he's on hate. We try to demonize him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's him. Yeah. They demonize, yeah. They demonize the enemy. That's why they know that they're accused. They're accused of the chariots. And, you know, they're a green man with the permission to hit him. Yeah, you don't let that Zechariah 5 and 3, going back to the uh, chariots and stuff, doing chariot science. So then said he unto me, This is the curse that go forth over the, the face of the whole earth. For everyone that's. Read that again, bro. Zechariah 5 and 3, then said he unto me, uh-huh. This is the curse that go forth over the. Right, oh, matter of fact, jump all the way up on that. Verse 1. Verse. All right, God. Hey, because the Lord is this strategic. Setting up his army, the host of heaven. Man. They surrounded, they got Esau kept. Hey, the, the war in the heaven is really going on. When we read about, you know, Revelation 12, that's why they have a space force. Um, when you look at the branches of the U.S. military, it's not just the army, the Marines. Do you know it's a space force? Wow. They actually put money into it. That's what Reagan was talking about. Reagan came out. It's this. He got video. He said, look, man. Was an invasion of the mm-hmm. We all come together to fight yeah. against that force. Yeah. Why did he say Why? that? I was going to say, what? Well, and here we are with the doctrine <laughs> that. Well, those so called UFOs, the chariots of the most high. Go ahead, huh? Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying robe. Yep. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. Oh, I see a what? A flying robe. I see a flying Woo, flying robe. I see a flying robe. That flying robe is just a thing. Got the sound? Oh, we got it. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. 
great conjunction. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so I'm inside Arabia too. Right, 
it's real. Let's do it for y'all. That's it. That's the spirit of the Lord. That's the part of the truth. How that Thank you. 
20 what? Verse 25. Yep. And there shall be signs in the sun. Yep. And in the moon. And in the stars. Now I gotta say this. Those are only gonna be signs to us. Because we're the ones looking for the return of our Lord. Right. Right. Remember and say uh, those who love his appearance. Yeah. So the Lord do certain things. We always talk about the moon, the face of the moon. So like, oh, no, that is, right? Nobody else looking at this. So we wait, we the ones waiting on y'all. And all the brothers out there that believe on the report. Right? Go ahead. He says, and upon the earth, yep. the stress of nations. Right, the stress of nations. People are going to be stretched out. That's one of the signs.
for the people. And all these niggas, man, you know, I have to go on a, a, a set for, uh, oh, I was about to say dramatize. I don't know if you've ever heard of there. Mm-hmm. But, uh, like, for just a nigga, the symbol of a nigga. You know, nigga with a pack. Uh, a nigga throwing parties and shit like that, man. Boy, don't get you, man. Don't be a few. I tell you, when niggas like that, they gonna know what to do to the face. Woo! Fuck you, man. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna laugh at that day. That's what Proverbs is talking about. We gonna laugh at your calamity. The Lord gonna let us see you niggas too, man. Uh, good morning. Hey, what, what happened is you should be real to the Lord. Slamming up again. That just told me they come to the end. Well, uh, Greek, uh, a warrior. Means to be without resources. Ooh, yeah. shit. Come on, man. Your faculties from your mind, your mental faculties, even to uh, rule. Just like that, nigga. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> so, niggas, you know, if you got more offensive niggas, they think they're going to sidestep the prophecy, uh, word, prophecy of the Lord, and they stock him up too. The Lord going to have either somebody take that. Rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High. 
This is the resort that I hear. This is the word. That's why I'm supposed to say, yeah, hey, you know, Lord, amen. That's what he says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation. Yeah, brothers can't tell. You know, yeah, hell, man. But you still glory in it. That don't mean you just tap out. You still push. Glory and tribulation, boy. It says, it says, and not only so, but we. Like, stunned moments. It's a right. It's a stunned moment. It's just a moment. That's it. Somebody's back. We're going to be later on, like, man. You see, you know, boy, man. Uh, and 
initiate, man. You're not coming out watching with no package books and no shit. But you got scrapped and internal oh, weapons and shit like that. Nigga, no. shit. Yeah, yeah, that wicked mm-hmm. shit. That's you. It's all bad. Like them Sakara crazy. Oh, yeah. That trip should be wise as a serpent. Yeah, but it all of himself. Like, that's what a serpent mm-hmm. is. He patiently waited for his prey to fall in his lap. You don't ever see those Go run you know what I mean? The kill rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> they fall into his lap. Fall into his lap. He's patiently waiting two, three days. You know what I mean? Watch what he waits. Wait for a minute. Wait for a minute. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's up. You develop right. those qualities. He's waiting on the change. Right. If you know it's from you got Israel out there trying to make a change. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
There's gonna be an element of surprise. Lord, 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 it's the truth of what the brother is. Lord coming as a thief. You are not expect how a thief comes. Psalm chapter 33, verse 22. Let thy mercy, O Lord, Yahweh, you outside, be upon us. And that's going to make more and more sense in the times we're in now. Hmm. Mercy, everybody going to desire mercy in that day. When your money not going to hold weight, your status not going to hold weight, the only thing going to make sense is the mercy of the Lord. Right. Yeah. Right. Come on. According as we hope in thee. According as we hope. Oh, that's why you have a shot to according to your faith. Yes. Right? 
come on and try to knock us through the door? Well, no, they unlock your door. Yeah. <laughs> they come in your door, you just hit the six. Go my dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah but hey, that's the part of the uh, theory of the Lord. That's the Lord sending it. The Lord sent this scenario. All right, come on. All right, I'm going to read uh, verse 3 again. Romans 5 and 3, it says, And not so only, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation works patience. And patient experience and pa- experience Christ. You go into that word experience, we can break it down with the Apostle Romans book that right. Uh try out. I mean try out. The Lord tried you out through his experience. So, uh, mm-hmm. you know, you might lose things in his life. Mm-hmm. Whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. You lose family, mm-hmm. family. Mm-hmm. That's the Lord trying you out to see if you're worthy of the king. Take a chip. Yeah, take a chip. Lord said, Gird up the Lord, I gotta be on my friend. Well, mm-hmm. it says, and patient, and patient, there go again. Mm-hmm. All our enemies, we're just patiently waiting on. I just thought, like, you know, my brother was talking about that. Mm-hmm. Some of the guys who spoke to him, take care of that. I got a Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And I started thinking, I got a stupid look on his face. He's going to be man. Yeah, like, <laughs> that is nigga dead. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a 